Well, on this show over the years, we've kept you pretty consistently informed of any weird activity in the skies above us. Most shows don't do that. They're too embarrassed, but we're not. Why would we be? If alien life exists, it's far more likely we'll hear from it before we see it. Now, a telescope in Canada reports picking up a strange, powerful signal from far, far away. What is it exactly? Brett Larson has been looking into it for us. He's morning anchor for Fox News Headlines 24-7 on Sirius XM, and he joins us tonight with more. Hey, Brett. Hey, Tucker. Yeah, this is definitely one of those what kind of stories. Uh, this is something called a fast radio burst. It was detected multiple times, and it has many scientists saying we need more data. So a couple things can be a fast radio burst. It could be a neutron star with a strong magnetic field, two neutron stars colliding, a black hole perhaps, and yes, could actually be an alien. The latest discovery comes almost by chance from something called CHIME. It's the Canadian Hydrogen Intensity Mapping Experiment. And get this, the system wasn't even completely set up when they discovered the bursts. Now, the fast radio bursts found are from a galaxy very, very far away, one and a half billion light years to be exact. And it is just the second time that a repeat of a fast radio burst has been detected. And the object CHIME found produced actually six different bursts. ARS Technica reports that of the dozens of fast radio bursts identified, only one other has produced multiple bursts. And this is actually kind of significant. More and more scientists are looking into the skies with more precise instruments to find these signals. And they don't last for very long. This isn't something you're going to hear. This is like a fraction of a second. And it shows up on a graph. Now, some astronomers have considered the idea that these bursts could be from intelligent life elsewhere. And with more scientists searching for them, we will likely find out more about them and find more of them. I, I think it's alien. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out on a limb and say I think, I think it's alien. And I think it's fascinating that we, we, you point a radio receiver to the sky and we pick up radio signals. Now, granted, there are scientific explanations for it, but. So, so, so to flip it around, I just want to be sure I, I yes. understand this. I mean, there's nothing about it that I really understand, but. There's no hard consensus that this is a naturally occurring phenomenon. So it's, there are serious scientists who believe this could be an intentional uh, yes. act, the yeah. sending of these radio signals. So there's, it could be, it could be from the collapse of a planet. It could be signals that come out of a black hole. And if, if it is signals that come out of a black hole, that's awesome too, because we can then learn more about them. It could be a neutron star. It could be two of them colliding. And again, that's also a very cool thing that we, we caught it. We can now hear the, the signature that it makes when, it, when these things happen in the skies above us and the galaxies literally beyond the Milky Way. If it's alien and it's, it's you know, get Jodie Foster. We got to build the spaceship and send her. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I'd include Jodie Foster in that. But <laughs> well, <laughs> try to keep it up in contact. Mind, no, I know, I know, I know. Good to see you. Thank <laughs> Thanks, you for Tucker. that. Thanks for having me.